Welcome back, ladies and gents, to another TPM Tactical video. It's a bit before 5.30 here in the morning, so I am still waking up, so bear with me through this video. But I wanted to get a video done, I saw it this morning, basically before my day starts, before I have to get the kids off to sports, etc. Okay, so today we're going to be covering off on modifying vanilla vehicle decals. Uh, full disclaimer though, I am no expert on textures, on decals, on alpha channels and all that type of jazz. However, the information that I've managed to put together, uh, I wanted to share with what I've got anyway so far. I'm unsure how to create decals from scratch yet. I have asked quite a few people in the different discords that I'm in, or Armour Forger Discord in general, or Armour Discord, sorry. And people don't seem to be willing to either share the information or very vague in relation to it. So I'm not sure what's going on there. However, I wanted to share what I've learned so far. Okay, so we're in the Armour Forger workbench and I've created a project called Decal Test. And what we're going to do is look for the UAZ 469. So I click this filter here and go to prefab so I can locate the vehicle quicker. Uh, it's an FIA. Let's use this one here. So as you can see, it has the FIA uh, logo or their decal on the side. So that's what we're going to be modifying, basically replacing or overriding. So let's get some details on this decal. So I'm going to right click here on the uh, UAZ. I'm going to override in, in my project. I'm going to double click on it and then go edit prefab. From here, I'm going to either scroll down or in the filter components at the top right here, type slot. So I'm locating the slot manager and scrolling down until I see this decal here. So the FIA coat of arms decal. Here's the prefab. So what I'm going to do now is hit the uh, quest, uh, not question mark, magnifying glass and locate it in the resource browser. I'm going to double click on it. Yep, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's been applied to both sides of the invisible XOB of the UAZ. So XOB is like the model file that's like imported, uh, say from Blender, when you import it into the workbench, it generates the XOB file. What I'm gonna do now is right click on the decal prefile at the top here and go to navigate to file. And double correction, I'm gonna right click and go override and then double click on it and edit prefab. So I click on mesh object and here it is. So you can see there's an object, uh, XOB file, so that's what's imported and then I've applied a material being this EMAT. So let's locate this EMAT. And again, I'm gonna go through the same process, right click, override and decal test. Double click on it. And here is our EMAT. So this is basically what's, everything in here is utilized to generate this particular image, which then gets applied. So you have your BCR, BCR map here, which is this coat of arms. What else we got? We've got the alpha channel, the opacity map, which is this here. So this applies the opacity layer on the outside and all these little markings. So as you can see, which overlaps onto here. And then it's got the rest of the, anything related to the material. So you can do the wetness and this is well above my knowledge. Um, but yeah, anyway, continue on. Uh, okay, so I clicked on this, double clicked on the coat of arms, BCR and the alpha channel, just to check the size. So the width is 512, height is 512. So that's in pixels. So what we're gonna do is open up Photoshop you can see I've mucked around with it previously, but I'm just going to go through the process of importing a couple of logos. So I would be doing these AVI decals again. Okay, so I'm just going to locate my file that I'm after. What's going on here? Um, yep, so Albion Vanguard International. Got it. So I'm get, whoop, new file. I'm making this 512 by 512. Resolution 300. I'm leaving the RGB color at um, or 8 bits. I believe that's what was recommended on the wiki. Again, I'll have to double check that. That's the Armour Reforger wiki and create. Again, I'm no expert on textures, decals, bloody alpha channels, Photoshop in general. But share what I know and hopefully someone else can improve on it. So Albion Vanguard International, here is my logo. So I'm just hitting control T at the moment. I'm going to expand this, make this larger, I'll scale it up just so I have the logo itself or the coat of arms. Awesome. I'm just going to duplicate this layer. And we'll call 
call this one alpha. Can't spell alpha. Well, what am I doing? A-L-P-H-A. There we go. Um, oh, we can still see a little bit down the bottom there. Let's hide that. There we go. Okay, so this first uh, layer is going to be our BCR map. What I need to do now is I want to delete this outside section. Okay, so I'm just going to select this and delete it. Like that, sweet. Deselect. Again, you don't have to use Photoshop, you can use GIMP or whatever. Oh, I realize I changed that size. Hold on one second. Let me just change, make sure we're all on the same size between the two um, layers. So let me duplicate this again. There's our alpha layer. Oh, I've stuffed that up, haven't I? Because I've deleted it already. Let's go back a couple of steps. Let's go all the way back to here. Okay, let's make this a little larger. Bear with me, still waking up. Okay. Now that's right, it's where I want it, how I want it. Right clicking over here and I am duplicating the layer. This one will be called that alpha layer. Let's call it underscore A. Make that invisible. Okay, go select the first layer. This is our BCR map. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this magic wand, select the outside, delete it. Right, first I'm gonna do this. And now delete, sweet. Okay, deselect. This is all I need for this layer. This one here is our alpha channel. So everything that's gonna be black basically is gonna be uh, enable the opacity layer is my understanding. So I just want the outside layer basically to be there. Outside layer, the outside area, sorry. So I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna delete that. Delete that. Deselect and I'm just gonna grab the eraser tool. Again, there's probably quicker ways to do this. I'm no expert. If you are enjoying these videos, please hit that like and subscribe and leave a comment below if there's any particular tutorials you'd like to see uh, or even just to say hi. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna get this, what is it, the paint bucket. Make sure we're on black. Awesome. And that is done so we have our alpha channel and then we have our bcr bcr map so let me go file save as let me just i'm just gonna save this one here for a second so i can come back later and muck around with it so abi decal okay so back to track so file save as just going to save it in my decal section and I am going to call it it's a TIFF file underscore it's called BCR so you should name things BCR um, the Armour Forge Discord correction wiki recommends to use TIFF or TGA, TGA files for stuff related to textures and um, decals so uh, yeah, using that. So it does have some settings there for Photoshop when you go to save as a TIFF uh, or TGA. It has the recommended settings as well. So just have to look at that on the Armour Forger wiki. Okay, so ABI, so LB Bangor International Decal BCR to TIFF, saving that. Leaving these at default. Pretty sure this is the same as what it recommends in the wiki. Yep, done. I'm going to do the same now for, for the Alpha Channel. Save as. Except we'll call this one A for alpha, save, yep, done. Okay, so we've got both of them. We don't need Photoshop open anymore. Going back into our project, let's locate where these are. So coat of arms, what I'm gonna do is just cheat to make the, oh, actually you can't create those, can you? You can't duplicate, can't duplicate this one. Yep, so I'm just duplicating this to create the folder structure. I was already there. 
just so I can place everything back in the same folder structure that RBI uh, use for their where their decals and emats are located. Okay, so now I just want to locate my actual TIFF that I saved. Give me one second. No, blind. There we are. Um, decals. So here are the two decals that I just created: the ABI and the uh, BCR. Sorry, the Alpha and the BCR. Selecting both those and just dragging them straight in. Awesome. Once it's in here, I'm just going to go double click on these EDDS files, go to import settings, and change this format compressed to best and color space to sRGB. I'm going to re-import those. Oh, not that one. Where is it? Format best. SRB Drew. Yeah. SRGB is already set. Re import resource. Okay. So there's two options we can do right here. We can, with this EMAP, we can replace these. So let's do that quickly and then we'll create our own EMAP. So if I. Uh, replace, uh, so here we are. So code of arms, FIA.emap, replace this BCR map. This is it here, I'm gonna drag that, boom, there it is. Awesome, it's using the current, this opacity map to outline this. However, we just wanna use ours, there we go. So it's not as, you know, as texturized as theirs. So as you can see, if I bring up theirs, it has all these scratches and markings on it to give it that more worn feel. Again, we could do the same thing over in Photoshop, put some masks across, download a paintbrush that has scratches already and apply that on the alpha channel, just in a darker color, and that will give you that texture effect. Now, if I save that now, it goes straight over to the vehicle. So here's the decal, obviously already been applied. If we go over the UAZ 469, there we go. Already applied. See how it looks very crisp though, as opposed to the decal uh, that was previously on the other coat of arms that was already very textured, very scratched and worn. But rather than creating or uh, using the current emat that's in there and overriding it and then changing the settings inside, we could create our own emat. So I'm just going to right click here and go to material. And in here, let's call it coat of arms ABI. Double click on this emat here. And now we have a blank canvas to utilize to create our decal. Uh, let's click on the change class at the top. In this drop down box here under class, go down to map uh, PBR decal and then click OK. Awesome. At the top here, we've got the BCR map. So we're just going to drag in our BCR. Here it is now. And from here, we're also going to drag in our alpha or our opacity layer. By default, you can see it has not applied. So we, want to, uh, we haven't applied the opacity section like you can see in the previous one. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to general tab and in this blend mode, we're going to drop down box here on the right. We're going to change it to alpha blend. There it is. I'm going to hit control S to save. So now we have that opacity layer has been applied. So that's the dark section here in this alpha has been applied to the original, giving you that opacity section. Okay. You can see there's a bit of a color difference. So all I've done at the top here is like an overarching color change. Again, I am no expert on any of this, so yeah, go through, test and adjust. You can copy these as well. So these sections here, so say we want to utilize, I don't know if they've modified anything in here. I don't think they have, but say they had changed the wetness value. You can right click on here and go copy group properties, go into your own, uh, to the same section, right click and then paste properties. And that will paste all the details in there as well. Saves manually uh, entering it. Uh, but while we're in here, let's just, for the purpose of this demonstration, let's just change this to random color. Yep, sweet, control S. So this is still, this decal is still pointing to this uh, prefab, which is pointing to, which has in it, this um, EMAT, okay? But what we wanna do is we wanna change this decal. Sorry, I've selected it, gone edit, and then gone down to mesh object. And I want to point this towards the one I've just modified, I created, sorry. So this is the coat of arms AVI EMAT. So I click and drag that into here. There we are. So if I save that, close that window, you can see it's applied here and now it's applied to the vehicle. 
Again, you can go through, change what you want, change the colors, put your own designs in. Um, that's pretty much it for modifying a decal. Anything that's using this original coat of arms decal, so will also be overridden and have your decal as well. So there's an FIA BTR that has it as well. Let's see if we can find it. So theoretically, it should be automatically applied. Rex. There we go. Oh, it's pointing to the old one. So you can go through and it's weird, it should be pointing to the new one. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, override decal test. I'll click, edit. Slot manager. Oh no, it's pointing. All right, that should still. Let's override this as well. Let's go down the rabbit hole. Okay, yeah, so in here it's pointing to that original coat of arms FIA. So we could modify this one now, drag our own EMAT in there. So if you originally just went through and overrode the original coat of arms EMAT and then applied it, applied your your logo, your decal inside there and colors and whatnot, it would continue on to everything because it's the original one that's been used and that's been overridden. So now if we have a look at the BTR, there we go. Uh, okay, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if you do know how to create custom decals from scratch to just place and manipulate straight over the vehicles uh, using the decal entity, please let me know. I haven't worked it out yet. Not that I have a lot of time to dig in there constantly and um, have a test. But if you do know, please leave me in the comments below. Please hit me up on Discord. Just search TPM in the Armour Discord and um, send me a DM and I'll I would be greatly appreciated that way I can learn and then I can pass that knowledge on to others as well. Uh, again, if you are enjoying these videos, hit that like and subscribe. If there's other tutorials you'd like to see, like I do have a relatively large list I'm still working through, uh, but if there is other tutorials you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to get a tutorial or learn it if I don't know it and then create a tutorial for, um, for the community. Anyway, it's what took me about 15, 20 minutes to get the video done. So hopefully that helps some people out and I'm going to take off and get ready for my day. Uh, catch you later.